Hey everybody, welcome to my kitchen today. Thought I'd pop on. Um, I'm just prepping some chicken for dinner later tonight um, and I'm doing a marinade on it. So I want to do it early so it's at least in the fridge between six to eight hours. Um, that way the flavor can be incorporated. We are making a Greek style chicken. Um, I'm either going to grill the chicken pieces, the breasts on the deluxe grilling griddle, um, or I was thinking of putting them on my uh, little air fryer skewer kebabs that we do have for the air fryer that goes in and it turns it and all that fun stuff. Um, but I'll, I'll plan that later uh, this afternoon, what, how I'm cooking it. But I wanted to show you how I prep it um, to go, you know, cook however I'm, I'm doing it. So in front of me here, I am using my close and cut. So this is a tool that you use. You put maybe something like, you know, big chicken breasts you get from Costco or those big butterfly um, pork chops that you get from Costco. And they're so thick, which means that they're going to take a little longer to cook. Um, and you know, if you cook them for too hot of a temperature, you're gonna dry them out. So um, we always, when we purchase stuff from Costco meat-wise, we always separate it. So this is a tool that we use to separate it. That way it's you know evenly um, split in half. This is also great for slicing um, cherry tomatoes or bagels even. Um, that way you can get an easy slice. So this is a set. So this is the closest cut. It does come with this knife. Uh, you do want an eight inch knife um, so that that way it can cut evenly and no problems are gonna happen with cutting it. Um, so this is a great tool for all prep work, okay? And, and um, it's so much easier than holding the chicken, which can be dangerous when you are using a knife and trying to split it in half or pork chops or whatever you're doing. Um, and then of course, if you're doing cherry tomatoes, that's time consuming going to each one. So we've created this tool so that you can put everything on here this part is pushes down so you can push whatever you're doing and slice it so that you're getting an even cut. So this morning I am doing chicken. So I have four chicken breasts. I've already done one and I'm splitting them in half so it creates eight um, because I have a family of five. So um, it's really great when you are separating meat because then it goes a longer way. It's really important too that you want to actually um, cut your meat in half or you want to tenderize it if you are cooking something like chicken because if you look at it here so this end is thicker so it's going to cook a lot longer than this part so by the time this part's done it's going to be all dried out before this part's done okay so that's why it's really important that you're going to tenderize it so it's all the same you know thickness um, or you're separating it because you don't want this end to be dried out by the time this thick end gets cooked okay so you just place your chicken or whatever food you're slicing right on here. We're gonna press it down. We're gonna take the knife and we are just gonna cut. Okay, and now I have the chicken breasts. They are split in half, okay? So I'm just gonna put them over on my prep board um, and then I'm going to season and marinate them after, okay? So let's do another guy. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it on here. Make sure it's pretty much on. Okay, close that. Take my knife. Make sure it's cutting all the way. And then now we have two pieces that are made, okay? Last guy here. I'm gonna close it. Cut it. Okay, so now we have two pieces. Okay, so that's easy. Got those all sliced up. They're all gonna be even, which is awesome. So now I have them all on a prep mat. So before I put them in a bowl to marinate, I always marinate them in um, a batter bowl. But before I put them in the batter bowl, and so today I'm going to use this marinade for them, but um, I am going to season it with salt and pepper and some seasonings. I'm just going to wash my hands really quick. Okay, so while they're on the mat, I will do all one side and then I'll flip them over and do the other. So I'm going to use my salt and pepper grinders first and just go over all the chicken. Pepper. 
So Pamper Check does have a, have a really good grape seasoning, but I've run out. So today I'm gonna to be using our lemon garlic, which is great in pastas or on fish. Um, personally, I don't eat fish, but people have said it's good. Um, and then the garlic and herb uh, rub as well, I'm gonna be putting on. So you can just add however much you want. And the garlic and herb, I just put it on literally any type of foods. Like if I'm roasting veggies, it goes on it. Um, I marinated steaks the other night, so it went on the, with the marinade. So it's just good for everything. And I'll flip over the chicken and we'll do the other side. So when you are seasoning things, it's all like a step process type thing. So you want to um, make sure that you're getting all levels of seasoning for whatever you're cooking. Another great, instead of using salt, you could also use our seasoning salt. That's also another spice that uh, I had to reorder because I'm all out. But it's really good on meats as well as roasting any type of vegetables too. Okay, so we're just going to add this again. We do have the lemon pepper rub as well, but I wanted to go with garlic because it's the most similar to the Greek rub that we do have. Okay. That's all seasoned up. Um, we are going to now put uh, the chicken into the batter bowl. Um, and I like it, as I mentioned, because it does come with a lid. You can use any type of bowl really to marinate as long as you cover it in the fridge. So <clears throat> when you're marinating, I do recommend marinating for a minimum of six hours. It's gonna really incorporate the flavors in there. Um, and you can make your own, like usually I do with avocado oil. I add my own like oregano and fresh lemon or lime, um, but these were on sale at Zare's, so we picked them up. We used one on steak the other night, the urban garlic, and it was really good. Um, so I'm sure this one will be, will be good too. I'm just gonna shake it because there's some oil sitting at the top. Okay, and I'm probably not gonna use the whole bottle because there's not that much chicken here. And of course I can reuse this later for more chicken later in the week or whatever. So I'll just stir it to combine. You can add fresh garlic if you like, but because there is fresh garlic in that marinade, I'm not gonna have to add any fresh garlic. So now I'm just gonna put the lid on and put it in the fridge for the day. Um, like I said, I'm either gonna leave the breast whole and grill it on my Deluxe Grill and Griddle. It takes about five minutes per breast. You just clamp down the grill um, and then you put the probe in so it cooks it to the exact temperature. You want chicken to be 165. Um, so you set the probe to 160 and then the chicken will remain to cook up until 165. You can use the instant read thermometer that we have to make sure that the chicken is cooked right to temperature because you wanna make sure that when you are eating poultry, um, that you are eating it at the correct temperature. Um, or I can do the chicken on the skewers that do come in, it's an accessory for the air fryer. Um, so you can cut the chicken up into chunks, maybe add some vegetables, and it will rotate in the air fryer on the skewer. So that's an option as well, which is a new little accessory for that cool tool. Um, but yeah, so the cut and close, really cool. I love it. It does come with this blue chef's knife. Um, and then it does come with this guy, and this is what you're gonna use to cut it. Um, it is sold in a set now, I believe it's $52, but it's great for cutting bagels, great for cutting cherry tomatoes, um, all that fun stuff, chicken, especially those big pork chops from Costco. Um, so I'll take care of all that prep work for you and make sure that all your meat is even. So thanks for tuning in this morning. If you have any questions about anything that you've seen, please let me know, and I hope that you all have a great day. Take care.